Okay, so what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to convert my rear bag, my bicycle bag, from a Velcro strapped-on bag to a uh, bag that's going to be attached to the bike via the uh, mounting as key setup, which is, uh, I think it's made in Europe, but anyway, uh, it's really cool. Uh, this part will actually go on the bike. I'm going to do that here in a few minutes, and this part will actually attach to the bottom of the bag. But we're going to talk about that because attaching this to the bottom of the bag will then allow this to click in once the once it's mounted it will click like that and then the bag will be mounted to the bicycle without the velcro straps which will save a lot of time and aggravation and using the key of course it unlocks it i don't have any fancy uh video camera holders so you got to kind of <clears throat> bear with me uh but anyway in order to uh, add some stability to the bottom of the bag because this bracket is going to have to be screwed to the bottom of the bag and of course the bag is just a material it's a good material because this ingwe or however you pronounce it bag is a really really nice bag uh it's actually feels like leather it's waterproof or at least water super water resistant but on the inside, what I've done is I cut a four and a half inch, I'm sorry, a, a piece of plexiglass rather, by 11 inches long, 11 and a half inches rather, 11 and a half inches long by five and a half inches wide. And I've inserted that into the bottom. So that way when I drill the holes for the screws and for the washers to, uh, to attach, it will have a little more sturdiness to it as opposed to just cloth you know uh, trying to put a screw on top of a piece of cloth because as we all know at some point that's going to eventually just kind of wear itself out and probably rip out the screws so anyway uh that's it so far and i'll start once i start getting things going i'll take another couple pictures and some video Okay, so after getting the plexiglass cut, and for my bag, it was uh, five and a half inches wide by 11 inches long, and I put drill holes that matched up with the bracket, and I used the washers that came with it. It actually came with washers, and they came with these uh, little flanges, and quite frankly, uh, because of the thickness of my bike bag, or the bag, uh, then uh, the uh, actual washers that it came with worked better. Uh, so I could get a better grip on the bracket. And when I turn it over, you can see the bracket is now attached to the bottom of the bag. So pretty much, you can convert any bicycle bag into one of these uh, MIKs, which is called Mounting is Key, which is kind of a weird name, but it's very cool. Uh, anyway, uh, so it allows you to sort of jury rig your own uh, bicycle bag if you like it and I like this one quite frankly I like it a lot so uh, plus I don't have to go to the expense of buying another uh, bag lay down the flap and you'll never even know it's there all right so now comes the big moment I can actually Take my razor blade and cut off the Velcro. That's sort of the, the final, the final uh, commitment to this bag no longer being a Velcro attached bag. So here goes. I can't do it and hold on to the camera at the same time. So. Alrighty then, so now I've got the uh, bracket is on the bag. You saw me do that. And the bracket is, the bike part of the bracket is on the bicycle. And for what it's worth, uh, for the, anybody that's looked into this already knows this, but these two pieces are sold separately. You cannot buy them as a kit. You have to buy the, uh, the bracket that goes on to whatever it is you're going to put on the bike, whether it be a basket or dog carrier or kid carrier or, or whatever. You have to put that on, you have to buy that separate, put it on the bag. And then the part that goes onto the bike is sold separate from that as well. I think all told is probably about 50 bucks. Uh, money well spent. So let's see how this works. 
goes down into the bracket. And I'm sure once I've done this a few times, it'll be a lot easier, but you put it into the bracket, give it a nice good click down, and that's it. It is locked into place. It is not going anywhere. Very cool. And then to get it off, it comes with a key. The key inserts into the back of the bag. You can sort of see the spot here. That's it. Pull it off with the key, and that's it. Nice and easy.